Hello friends, welcome back to another session of web technologies. In today's class, I'm going to show you how can you insert CSS into your HTML documents. What is CSS? CSS stands for cascading style sheet and it is used to uh, design the styles for your web pages, including the design layout and variations in the display for different devices and screen sizes. Like it is a way of presentation of the web pages, which includes this HTML element. Uh, the styling or the presentation includes giving various colors, layouts, and fonts to the HTML element. So I'll show you all the three ways of inserting CSS into this HTML uh, uh, document. The first one is uh, external CSS, and the second one is internal CSS, and the third one is inline CSS. Uh, for doing this, I have created a folder here. Uh, I named it as CSS, and inside this folder, uh, uh, I'll show you the first one, which is external CSS. For this external CSS, we need to create two different files. The first one is the HTML file, which I named it as sample. Okay, and this is the HTML file. So let me show you this. Okay, so this is the uh, the first uh, HTML file, wherein here inside the head. Okay, so this is the head tag of the HTML. Inside this, I have put a title, which is external CSS. So we already know that. And the next one is nothing but the link tag. Okay, so what is the link tag? Uh, so the link tag will actually help you to add um, external resources into your uh, HTML file. Okay, so it defines the relationship between the current document and the external uh, uh, resources that you want to include into this particular HTML. Uh, so that for that purpose, you will be using the link tag. So inside the link tag, you are having certain attributes. The first attribute is the relation attribute, like what is the relation of the external resource to this HTML. So it's a style sheet and we are saying what is the type of that. It is text uh, CSS file and here this is a hyperlink, uh, H reference and we need to give the URL where this particular style.css is. So in the external CSS, we'll be creating two files. One is the .html file and the other one is .css file. And we need to name that and the entire URL need to be pasted in here, okay? Since I have kept both the .html file and .css file in the same folder, I did not put the entire URL. You can also keep it in the different folder, but uh, provided that you give the URL over here, proper URL to reach that particular style.css. And this entire thing, I need to give it in the head tag. So whatever styling I want uh, to give to this particular HTML elements, I have put it in the style.css. And then I have started the body of the HTML tag. Inside the body, I have kept one uh, uh, heading uh, over here, which says example of CSS. And then I have uh, another heading of size H2. And this is the styled heading. So I have given styling to this H2, wherein I have put what styling I require in the style.css. And then I have put a paragraph over here and uh, how to style this particular paragraph I have put it in style.css and I also have styled the background of this particular web page okay fine so this is my uh, html file so once uh, the html file is ready now we need to write one more file which is style.css okay so let me show that um so let me show you the style okay so this is uh, style.css so you can see that i have named the file to be style and then the type of the file is cascading style sheet okay so let me show you what i have written in this so in this i have written the styling so this, this is the syntax css is all about uh, the property and the value um so here uh, i want to style h2 tag right so i have uh, written the tag uh, name over here or the html element over here and then uh, inside this open curly and the closing curly bracket i have mentioned the property and values okay so the many properties so these are some of the properties and the values of the cascading style sheets so the latest version of the cascading style sheets is three um, so you can find uh, the property and the values for the background these are all the values uh, here and for the background attachment, these are all the values. And for the background color, these are all the values and so on. Um, so it, it's a property and the value pair. 
and uh, uh, we have seen in in my style sheets you will be able to see uh, background color where i'll be giving some color over here you can also give an image um, the value could be url and so on um, in the same way like uh, you can also give uh, the margins okay so and then coming to the fonts uh, so we can mention the font family and the font style and so on uh, so these are all the possible values that you can give for uh, this one. And uh, uh, so for the text property, uh, so these are all the values that you can give uh, for the text align. Okay, so these are all the values that you can give text decoration. You can underline the text and you can justify the text and so on. So these are all the properties and the values that uh, 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 CSS provides you okay so these are all the properties and values so CSS uh, uh, sheet or the document or the file will be including this uh, property and the value pair so let me get back to my dot um, CSS file so we can see that over here so for the element h2 so I want the property to be a uh, color property to be navy color and the margin on left is a property and I said that the value should be 20 pixel. So 20 is a value and this is a unit. Okay, so it is associated with the unit. We should not put any space between the value and the unit that you're mentioning. PX stands for pixel. So there should not be any space. And next is I want the body element to have some styling. So the styling that I want for the body is the background color. I want to put as light blue. And for the paragraph element, I want uh, all these properties to be applied. Like the text indent uh, should be 150 pixel. Text indent is like from where the first line uh, starts. Okay, so I want from the left margin, I want uh, one it, it to leave 150 pixels and then start uh, putting the paragraph. And then this te text align, I want it to justify. By default, it is not justified. So I want it to justify. And the letter spacing uh, should be 2 pixel. Okay, so this is what I want uh, uh, to give the styling to the uh, web page. So, so first element I have chosen is H2 element. And the next element that I have chosen is body. And the next element that I have chosen is the paragraph. Uh, so let me save this. Uh, style and uh, so now you can see we have two documents one is the um, sample document which is my html and the other one is the style document so both of these are in the same uh, folder which is the css folder and now let me actually launch this uh, sample.html and show you so i'm trying to open this with the chrome um, here so this is my Chrome uh, browser and I opened it in the Chrome browser and this is the title which I have given external CSS. And uh, this is how like we, uh, th this is the heading that we have put and this is the H2 uh, styling that we have done. I have put Navy, right? So this is uh, the Navy. So let me open you the style and uh, show you the document. Okay, uh, for H2, so this is the H2 one. Uh, so this is the styled uh, heading, right? Um, this is the styled heading, right? Okay, so for the style heading, we I said like the color should be navy. Um, the color is navy and the margin, uh, uh, left margin, I have kept it as 20 pixels. And then for the paragraph, you can see that uh, the text indent has started uh, 150 pixel from here. And then it is justified. So you can just uh, see that all the uh, lines over ended at the same point over here. So that is ju justified. And then the letter spacing is two pixel. Okay, so I kept the letter spacing. So you can make it out from the previous text in here. Um, the gap between the letters is more. So I have kept two pixels over here. And uh, we didn't mention about the color for the paragraph. So I didn't give any styling for the color of the paragraph. So that's why by default it is black color. And for the body element, uh, the background color is light blue. So the light blue is applied for the body element. So here we have two files. So this is external CSS wherein we'll, we have two files. One is .html and the other one is... Uh, 
a dot css file and we will be including inserting this dot css file in the html by using the link tag so this is the first uh, uh, way in which we, we insert the second way the in which we insert is the internal css uh, so this is the internal css uh, uh, file in the same file what i'll do is i'll just take off this link uh, tag i'll just remove this link tag and I'll put one more tag, which is nothing but the style tag. Okay. And I'll close the style tag as well. So in between this uh, open and the close of the style tag, I'll bring in the content of .css file and put it, paste it over here. Um, so I, okay, copy everything from this uh, .css file, bring it to the sample one and paste it in between this open style tag and close style tag okay so i play, pasted everything in between this one and here we won't be having two files we'll be having only one dot html file so i'm saving this and let us actually launch uh, this one okay so sample one wherein the dot css file is inside this sample one okay right so i'll open it with the google chrome so you can see this is my internal CSS and which is sample1.html. So it will be looking same like external CSS, uh, but the difference between external CSS and internal CSS is that in the external CSS, we have two files. One is .css and the other one is .html. And we have kept the .css file in .html file using the link tag. Here in internal CSS, we won't be having the link tag. Instead of the link tag, we'll be having the style tag. And in between the style tag, whatever we have in the external CSS document, we have pasted it in the style tag. Okay, so this is our internal CSS. And let me show you the third one. Okay, so the third one is the inline CSS. So this is the inline CSS, wherein here I won't be having any style tag or I won't be having any link tag. One thing that we will be doing is inside the same element itself. Okay, so inside the same element. So I want to style H2 element, right? So inside the H2 tag, I'll be using one attribute, which is nothing but the style attribute. And as a style is equal to, and I'll put all the property value uh, that I want to include for this particular element, which is H2 element. So this is uh, the styling that I, that I want for the H2 element we have kept over here. And then for the paragraph, I want this styling. So I have kept this styling for the paragraph over here. Okay. So what I did is, and also the styling that I want for the background, I have kept that over here for the background as well. So in line. Okay. So inside the tag, uh, uh, element tag itself, we'll be putting the style attribute and we'll include all the styling that we require. So this is nothing but the inline CSS. So let me actually launch this and show you. Uh, so open with the uh, Google Chrome. Okay, so this is inline CSS. Okay, so this is external CSS, this is internal CSS, and this is inline CSS. And this is uh, sample.html, and this is sample1.html, and this is sample2.html. You can see the same thing uh, effect is there in the three documents, but the way we presented all the three is different. The first one, we had two files. The second one, we had only one file, uh, but inside the style uh, um, at, uh, tag, in the inline CSS, we don't have anything, um, any link tag, or we won't be having any style tag, but instead, we'll be having style attribute inside the element itself. So that's the difference between external, internal, and inline CSS. I hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you for watching.